Hey, what's up YouTube? We have a new smartwatch in town, the Intex Iris. This is gonna cost just under 10,000 Indian rupees. It comes in various colors, has a big display. Also, it has its own uh, SIM slot, 3G connections, you know, GPS, camera, and all those stuffs. In this particular video, we're gonna take a quick look at what's inside the box. Basically, we'll do the unboxing for you. And also, we'll have a quick look at the watch. Remember that this is by no way an exhaustive um, review. We'll just have a first look, the build quality and the display just a tad bit and then we're going to give you a bone deep uh, performance uh, in a review in another video after testing this watch comprehensively. So let's get started. First we have a bulletin. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and tear this off. You can see the box here. So we have the orange version. You also have a black version and also pink version, I guess, in text iris. Pretty nice looking box here. Over here you have some quick specs, like a 1.56 inch display. Uh, it's an OLED display, 240 by 240 pixels of resolution. It's meaning that it has an aspect ratio of one by one. 4 GB ROM that's the internal storage and 512 MB of RAM out of 4 GB Intex says that you have about 1.23 GB available to install apps the rest are taken by the system 5 MP camera which I think should be an autofocus camera also you can zoom and it can record up to 720p video we'll check whether it's an autofocus or fixed focus later up to 32 GB of ex ex expendable memory via a micro SD card. You have Android KitKat 4.4, inbuilt GPS 3G SIM support. It supports one SIM uh, of 3G and then 600 mAh battery. Also, it's just over 80 grams, I guess, in weight, which makes it quite heavy actually. And then you have some marketing and pricing informations over there inside the box. You're supposed to find this, but I'm gonna show those to you anyway. So let's go ahead and cut this thing open. And see it's beautifully packed, beautifully laid. So that's the in-text iris, iris. There you go. We'll come back to the watch just in a bit. Uh, what else do we have? So I need to take this out. And then you have, well, the very premium looking Bluetooth earphones here. Now, because the watch has its own storage, plus you can have a micro SD card there as well, up to 32 GB. You can take advantage of Bluetooth, built in Bluetooth of the watch, connect these and listen to music or listen to calls or maybe even the GPS uh, instructions. We're going to test the quality of these as well, but nice flat wire C, so they're not going to tangle. Uh, we'll have to see how it behaves with sweat, you know, at the back of your neck. And then you have micro USB uh, 2.0 cable there and then um, what else do we have here? Another one of those, we're going to figure out what's those and then you have a back panel, yeah. and then some manuals here, you have your user manual and then the warranty card, Bluetooth instructions, Bluetooth 4.1, cool, you have some extra earbuds. And what are those? Okay, you have the SIM tray opener and some extra screws actually. Here, what we have here. Yeah, this looks like the cradle. So, one of these would definitely be the charging, uh, you know, cable. Uh, but I suppose I can use either of them. I don't know why exactly do we have two uh, micro USB 2.0 cable but the more the merrier free we always love free goodies so those are the things in the box we'll come back to the watch now so there you go there's the Intex Iris 
the first glance it looks big huge and heavy 80 grams it's definitely heavy and also 44 mm by 44 mm uh, definitely large it has this nice rubber uh, you know, rubber strap with serrated back so that your sweat does not stay does not leave kind of those mark on your wrist this part I think is plastic or metal this part is metal and then you have the back side those are the cradle points to charge and that's the 5 MP camera you'll have different functions with these buttons and I don't know if you can change this and how do we change this strap if we can at all and that would be the sim card and micro SD card slots so let's go ahead and uh, try to open this you also have a mic besides that you can see so that should be the sim slot and on the other side should be the micro SD card slot yeah nice thought Yeah. let's see how it looks of course orange is kind of very very bright color so you'll have to uh, you know think that before buying it I think black would look the more most cosmopolitan and it would go with almost every attire but orange and pink uh, would be very loud this one's orange and that says that it has a GPS it looks big it also looks heavy on the wrist it's almost like you're wearing a you know some kind of drone remote control so we go here and there you go it has 240 by 240 pixels of resolution so it definitely it looks okay those are some of the stuffs let's go ahead and switch on the camera here let's try to take a photo of our setup now this could be one of the downside because my wrist it's gonna hamper the camera so I'll have to really go like this you know so the angle of the camera would be a problem see my wrist is coming there it's coming in between so yeah that's gonna be one of the problem So have to see that how do we go back okay so that's how you go back you have some galleries and maps yeah. of course I think you'll need to be connected this guy also supports Wi-Fi by the way supports Wi-Fi supports 3G so you have no doubt of connectivity options out here uh, the user interface looks quite intuitive smooth and fast yeah cool so we'll come back with uh, all the performance and user interface review and how this guy does because this also uh, is supposed to be water and dust resistant it already attracted my sweat so we're going to test those as well and we'll come back to you after testing this device comprehensively in our full video uh, full video review very very shortly thank you